Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today, and this is a garage band quick jam you will not want to miss because today we're talking all about the amazing world of plugins here in GarageBand iOS. Let's go. Okay, so what is a plugin? A plugin is an effect or audio processing of some sort that we can place on a track here in GarageBand that is going to affect the sound that we get from that track. To access our plugins, we tap on the mixer icon in the top left here and then scroll down to plugins and EQ. From here, we can adjust the basic settings. In this case, we have compressor, treble and bass that we can adjust right here on the front screen. To access our advanced settings, we tap on the arrow next to plugins and EQ. You can see which plugins are enabled because they will have a blue circle around this power icon over on the far left. To turn off each plugin, we tap on the blue icon until they become grey. Now let's listen to this vocal track without any plugins at all. 4am alarm, turn off quickly, taxi arrives, do not toot. To turn our plugins back on, we tap on each of these icons until they become blue. Now let's listen to this vocal again with our compressor, EQ, echo and delay enabled. 4am alarm, turn off quickly, taxi arrives, do not toot. And you can hear that all those effects have been added to our vocal track. To remove a plugin, we tap on the blue edit button here, and then we can tap any of these red minus signs, and then hit delete to remove that particular effect. To add a new plugin, we tap on the green plus sign, and now we can add any of these 10 default GarageBand effects. Let's add the chorus. And you can see that each plugin has its own advanced settings that we can change to impact the sound. Let's now play this vocal again with this chorus effect turned up quite high. And you can see we get a very unique and probably horrible sound. Let's drop our settings way back down and play that one again. Do not toot, the kids are still asleep. And now we get a very subtle chorus effect. You can also add AU plugins by tapping on the plus here and going to audio unit extensions. And now you can choose from the 15 default Apple plugins, or you can download additional AU plugins from the App Store. Let's select this AU voice rack effects. And now if we tap on the icon here, we can go into the separate interface for this particular plugin. And that is it for this GarageBand Quick Jam. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them below and I'll see you next time.